So welcome back to part two. The last thing we need to do pretty much is to create uh, some particles to go in the middle. So I'm going to make a new group, that's Command Shift N. I'm going to select the circle tool, C, F7 for the HUD. Let's turn off the outline, fill color white. And I'm going to draw, hold down the Shift key and draw a small circle like that. Pretty much as small as I can make it. F1 for its properties. Let's hit that reset button to center it up. Then to make an emitter, I'm going to hit E. The shape I'm going to set to line. And I'm going to make some adjustments to these starts and end points. I'm going to set the start x to nine, minus 960, I should say. The start y to 400. The end x to minus 960. And the end y to 400. So we've got a line running down the left hand side of the screen. I'm going to change the emission angle to 180 and the emission range to 2. Let's make a few adjustments here to the cell controls. So I'm going to set a birth rate of 50, birth randomness of 150, the life is going to be 4, life randomness is going to be 10, speed is going to be 150, speed randomness is going to be 150. And let's come down here to color mode and select over life. I'm going to click here to make a color tab in the middle and I'm just going to add a bit of red to that, take out a little bit of blue so they go kind of like that in the middle of their life. And I'll click on the top bar here to make an opacity tab and I'll set that to zero so they fade out and I'll grab that middle control and just move it across a bit and I think I need the scale to come down quite a bit let's go for 40 I think that looks about right next we need to apply an image mask to this group let's call it particles so Command Shift M. Let's open up our mats group again. And remember that wriggle group that we made? We're going to drag that into the image well for that particle group. So now they just appear inside the speaker there. And what we're going to do is select the emitter. Command 2 for the library. We're going to select behaviors, simulations, and we're going to select Orbit Around and apply that. Hit F2 to come to the inspector. We need to select a source for it to orbit around and I want it to orbit around the outer rim. So I'm going to come to my mats and select my outer and drag it into the source well. Let's set the influence to 500 and the drag down to 0.2. And now, if we play from the beginning. Those particles are coming in. They're sort of sticking to the edge in an interesting way. It's, it's a pretty cool animation. If I come later on, they're really looking quite, quite cool because they're sort of bouncing around all over the place. OK, so just a couple of small things left to do. The first is that I want the speaker itself to bounce with the music track. So let's open up the speaker group. I need to take this mats group, let's just close it up first of all, and move it inside the speaker group like that. So that those mats will get resized along with everything else. I'm going to select the speaker group, F1, and I'm going to select the Z position right click add parameter behavior link and we'll drag the null behavior in as usual properties blending opacity 
I'm going to set that scale to 0.1. And that's getting bounced around just as we'd like. OK, and just a few more tiny cosmetic tweaks. Uh, I want to just fix the color of this mesh. So let's select the mesh and hit F4 for its controls. I'm just going to click on line color here. And I'm just going to drag it down so it's a bit more blue, just so it sits in better with the overall design. And do the same for the edges. Open up that group, cut, click on the color solid, click on its color swatch, just again, just push a bit of blue into it just so it sits in better. A little bit of cyan maybe there, something like that. And just one final thing to do, and that's if we zoom in a bit, you'll see that there's a very pronounced edge to the uh, mesh. And I want to sort that out by coming in and selecting the Mesh Image Mask, Command 2 for the library, Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and apply that. F3 for the Inspector. I'm going to set the amount to 50. If I turn that on and off, you can see that's taken care of that sharper edge. And um, apologies, there's one mistake um, in this speaker group, and that's that the overlay should be at the top of the group. So let's hit Command Shift backward square bracket just to move it to the top, and you can see that that's now colouring the edges, which is what I wanted to happen. That means you can use the overlay to adjust the overall colour of the scene if you wanted to. OK, so that's the project pretty much finished. You can obviously customise it any which way you choose. I'll put a link to the finished version of this in the comments so you can play around with that. Thanks very much indeed for watching and I hope to see you again next time.